Um, sugar has so many different roles in a product uh, beyond the sweetness uh, that people typically associate with it. Uh, so it contributes uh, structure and texture, for example, in a cake uh, or in a biscuit. And it also reduces the amount of water that might be available in a product. So that has an important role to play in keeping the product safe. So with less water, you get less microbiological biological activity, less bacteria, less nasty things uh, forming in a, in a product. It also obviously contributes a lot to not just the flavour, but uh, as I'm sure we all know, to the colour uh, of, of many products. Now there are lots of challenges associated with uh, removing sugar from uh, a, a product. Um, and what we're seeing a lot more of is companies looking at a range of different solutions in the reformulation of a product. So that may well include the use of some intense sweeteners, uh, some bulking um, alternatives like the polyols, uh, alongside some addition of fibre uh, in the overall um, product makeup. The other consideration that does need to be taken into account when reformulating for sugar is clearly the regulatory implications. Uh, sweeteners are very tightly regulated at EU level and there are restrictions on uh, some uh, sweeteners being used in some products. So high intensity sweeteners not permitted in some product groups, polyols not permitted in some other product groups. Um, the implications of the regulations need to be thought through at the outset uh, of any product development. Uh, the number of claims that can be made in relation to sugar reductions are also uh, very tightly regulated. So it's our experience that um, manufacturers do look at all of these aspects before they consider uh, reformulating uh, their product. I think the most important consideration uh, is clearly the consumer reaction uh, to any reformulation and again the research that Leatherhead's carried out sees time and time again that taste is actually the most important uh, attribute of a product for a consumer when making a choice. So that's a big challenge for manufacturers in order to be able to reformulate and still deliver against the consumer's expectations on taste. The other consumer expectation which needs to be taken into account is obviously uh, any labelling changes that need to be made alongside uh, a polyol that might be used. Um, and um, also the use of um, high intensity sweeteners which may impact uh, a product's desire to uh, present a cleaner label um, to the consumer. So lots of considerations to take into account, all of which are very challenging and um, all of which the food industry I'm sure is taking on board.